Hi everyone, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp and today I have a card chair featuring these hanging ornaments that use the rock and roll technique which is where you add more than one color of ink to your stamp before stamping it on paper and then a white on white background. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp mint and teal inks and I have left in all of my stamping boo-boos or errors so that you can see that sometimes it takes more than one inking or even more than two or three to get the result you want. What is so great about this technique with a stamp set that has coordinating dies like this ornaments stamp set is that I'm not ruining my project by practicing and several times to get the result that I want. One thing to keep in mind is I'm using dye inks so the really bright vibrancy you see here will kind of subtly fade just a tiny bit after the ink has absorbed into the paper. And I really liked that one that's, that my hand is kind of covering right now. And so that's the one I'm going to use. But on one of my other ones that I'm not going to be using on my card, I was uh, trying out some different inks and pins to see what look I liked and I originally thought I'd use the Wink of Stella silver glitter pen to color in the pretty little fleurs and everything on the ornament but I didn't like that so I'm using the Sakura Stardust glitter pen to color in that area. These are ornaments after all so I kind of wanted mine to be shiny and sparkly and one thing I love about this rock and roll technique with the dye inks in particular is it gives the ornaments an almost mercury glass look which is so popular in, in decorating and things right now so these are kind of colored mercury glass ornaments at least that's what I'm pretending that they are and I am going to go ahead and do this smaller ornament as well again it's probably going to take several inkings to get the one that I want and one thing to keep in mind is sometimes I find if you don't clean your stamp in between each try you almost get better results so I would stamp it and then just go ahead and go right back to my lighter ink and then add the darker ink and that is when I got the stamped image that I really liked so it's it's kind of a funny thing to do and it's just it's whatever you like whatever look you prefer I like to stamp it several times just to get the one that I really, really want for my project. Maybe I'm probably a little bit too picky, but it's kind of fun. Again, just like my other one, I'm going to use that Stardust Sakura pin to trace over any of that white area. And then I'm taking the Wink of Stella clear glitter pin and brushing that over the rest of the stamped image just so it has a little bit of subtle glitter and shine as well. Now once I have these stamped and I have just the two that I'm going to be using for my card, I'm going to grab the coordinating dies from the Simon Says Stamp Ornaments die collection and place those over my ornaments and use a little post-it tape to hold them in place and run them through my Big Shot. Now when I stamped these, I didn't exactly realize that the top of the ornament is going to stick up quite a bit higher than the actual ornament itself, which is actually excellent when you want to add the little ornament topper, but I didn't leave quite enough room above that smaller ornament, so it's not going to die cut all the way. It's not the end of the world. I'm still using that ornament. After all, I did a lot of uh, hard work here trying to get just the one I wanted, so it's not a big deal. I'll go ahead and die cut that. I'm going to use the little ornament toppers die and die cut that from some silver glitter paper from Die Cuts with a View. So I'll just lay that aside and die cut my silver paper now. I really wanted to use something that a paper that kind of looked like an ornament topper. Uh, a silver foil paper would be excellent as well. I had this glitter paper pad laying right here so I went ahead and used it and I really like how it turned out. So I'm going to pop, these are the larger of the two ornament toppers. I'll 
pop those out, and I can glue those right to the top of the ornament. That is why it's so great that the large ornament die has that topper part when it die cuts, makes it really easy to glue that ornament topper right in place. So even though that one didn't die cut all the way, it's not a big deal. There's still enough there to glue that on. Just a lovely attention to detail when designing these ornaments, I think, and the dies that go with them. Now, I completely thought that I was recording die cutting that awesome triangle pattern background. That is a new die from Simon Says Stamp from their Cold Hands Warm Hearts collection. And I realized after I had die cut it and popped all of those little triangles out that I didn't push the button on my camcorder. So I apologize, that is die cut from vellum. I wanted a subtle pattern background that was tone on tone. And with these ornaments really being the star of the card, I wanted the background to, to have a pattern but not be overwhelming. One of my favorite ways to do that is to use vellum over white cardstock. So it's very simple, very easy, and quick. And it kind of almost has that modern elegance type feel to the card. And then these really fun teal ornaments on top. So I really love that background. Now I realized I needed another ornament. So that's why I stamped that larger one there. I thought I could get away with two, but my mind just really likes an odd number of elements or images. So I went ahead and went with the three. I will be stamping the greeting for the front of my card using this ornaments stamp set. And I'm going to be using the Wishing You Joy stamps. And I have cut a thin vellum strip here that I'll ink up with some Frost Versamark ink. I use the powder tool first because just like any time I do any embossing, I really want to make sure my embossing powder only sticks to what I've stamped and doesn't migrate anywhere else. Once I have that stamped on my strip, I'll grab a piece of paper to place under and I'm going to use the Simon Says Stamp Silver Embossing Powder. I am in love with this embossing powder. It is really nice. It is very crisp, very gives a great embossed result. I'll just tap the rest of that right back into my jar and then I'll heat set the greeting for the front of my card. So I have the front of my card done. I'm going to take my card base now and finish the inside of my card. I love when the inside of the card has some sort of a greeting. So I'm using my powder tool again and I'm using the Inside Greetings Holidays stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and I've chosen one of the greetings that I thought coordinated nicely with the greeting I used on the front. Going to ink that up with the Frost Versamark ink again. Line it up as best, just kind of eyeball it. And then again, I'm going to take the silver embossing powder, tap that on there, and tap any of the excess back into my jar. I'm going to just tap that off over on the over the floor so any of those little extra embossing powder pellets or what, fibers or whatever will not stick and then I'll heat set that. Finally, I am taking some silver string and tying them through the top of my ornaments. I want them to be hanging from the top of my card. So I'm simply just tying some little knots in them and then leaving the other end loose and using glue dots to attach those to the vellum. So I'll continue this for all three of my ornaments and just tie a little knot trim off any of that excess and leave a pretty long tail so I have plenty to work with. This silver string is from May Arts and then I'll attach my other ornament and I'll finish the third one. Now before I, I uh, attach the silver strings to the back of the card I'm going to adhere this to my white panel or adhere the vellum to the white panel and then I'm going to use a strong adhesive like the glue glider tape runner to pull my string to the back of my cardstock and then I'm just rolling it over there to hold that in place. And I'll trim, snip off any of those ends. I'm going to use a little zig glue pin behind the embossed areas on my greeting. Just some little dots of glue 
and then place that right along the bottom of my card. I'm using some Scotch foam adhesive now to raise up my panel from my card. Anytime I have ribbon or anything a little bit thicker, that's not very thick ribbon, but it would still distort that front panel, I really like to pop it up with some foam adhesive so that it's just nice and level. I'm going to trim off any of that extra vellum from the greeting strip. And I'm going to finish my card with some pretty pink posh sequins. I have some of these circle confetti pieces that are in silver. I'm adhering everything with the Zotz Bling glue dots. These are my favorite. This is my favorite way to attach sequins to any project because there is no glue. There's no mess and they fit perfectly. They're so teeny tiny that they just work wonderfully. And I'm also using the Sparkling Clear 6mm and 4mm sequins from Pretty Pink Posh and just doing a nice scattering over the front of my card that kind of just finishes off the theme with the white and silver and leaves the ornaments that really pretty teal-ish kind of mint color. I hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing fun new holiday products from Simon Says Stamp. The supplies I've used are all listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we will catch you next time.